Hello friends and welcome back. I hope you have studied the previous lecture which was the uh, we had just completed the application then we discussed about the FMS and you might have studied about the FMS and its types and today we are going to discuss about the two new topics and that are CAD, CAM and KIM. Might be you have heard about the CAD and CAM but what is CIM, CAM? So we'll discuss about that then we'll discuss about the robotics robotics you might be having a small picture in your mind that what robotics is so we'll just i'll just introduce that part to uh, to you and uh, the application of robotics in the different areas of industry and then the remaining part we'll discuss in the next lecture so i'll start with the cad cam and kim so if i just break it into the full forms so what is a cad cad is computer aided design or drafting you can say this thing then cam is your computer aided manufacturing and the third one is computer integrated manufacturing so if i would say your computer aided designing and drafting so uh, what are those things like computer aided designing that you use in the cad the uh, pro e the solid works that are all designing or drafting works in which you just prepare your drawings through which uh, you are sending your drawings after my, uh, after uh, giving the proper dimensions and everything and once it gets passed from the board of the members and it has been given to the production department so that production department is called your manufacturing that is called computer aided manufacturing so computer aided manufacturing is this that which we discussed your cnc machines your material handling system and those all are compute those all are controlled by computer that is called computer aided manufacturing means computer is in the help for the manufacturing now what is computer integ integrated manufacturing in the computer integrated manufacturing that all department of an industry is included or you can say the collaborated to a one single system of computer that is called your computer integrated manufacturing whether it is your designing whether it is your manufacturing whether it is your sales and marketing department they all are connected to one single computer means in which all data is available and anyone can access the data correct and that is controlled everything is controlled by the computer if i just wanted to show you that how it works is this it is called a sphere of chem that is computer aided computer integrated manufacturing so you can say this is a circle of the cim so in this there is a factory operation there are four different factory operation you can say the designing manufacturing planning manufacturing control and business function so what is in designing that we discussed about the cad in which you are discussing about your different softwares which are used for that then computer manufacturing planning manufacturing planning means in which your uh, machines are to be used computer aided manufacturing your machines cnc nc or dnc machines are to be used then computer aided manufacturing is also called manufacturing control like your process control or the product control that is inspection that all everything is controlled by the computer that is the third function the manufacturing control and the fourth is your business function so what is a business function business function is all your hr department human human resource department in which what it is check it is to check out the salary of the person secondly the sales and marketing of the product third one is your uh, uh, the uh, interview conducting the interview for the new selection so these all called as a business functions so this all is controlled by the computer only these all functions are controlled by the computer only that is called this sphere of game means computer is although if it is there are different departments but they are having their own pcs which are using for the uh, their own computers which are used for their functioning but yes the data of all these is to be sent to the factory operations to the factory means to a one single computer which is controlling all and you can see everything by sitting in a room then what is your manufacturing is doing what is your planning is doing what is drafting is doing so everything is controlled by the computer that is called your computer integrated manufacturing okay then the next one is your benefits benefit means if you have the control on each and every department the time would be lesser you might be this is just common sense that time would be lesser there is no need to go from one department to the another department to check out what is the data what is the status so it is it all can be checked through just simple by sitting on the computer and you can find it out see the faster rate of production drawing yes on the computer aided 
uh, designing you can have the faster rate of the drawings secondly the accuracy would be better and you can check you can have the status of each and every step of the um, production at any instant when whether whenever you want it you can have it then a computer assisted part programming improve improved work standards you can check it out if someone is following the standards or not computer aided and inspection correct so in that cases you can use this one correct so these are the benefits of the computer integrated manufacturing here yeah, the manufacturing the computer is integrated to all department of the industry and they all are centrally connected to a single computer so that anyone can check what the production is doing what the manufacturing is doing what the designing is doing and what are the marketing and sales are doing so every data is included into that and computer is integrated correct this is all about the computer aided drafting manufacturing and computer integrated manufacturing correct now the next topic is robotics so robotics is a very uh, wide or vast area in which the research is going on correct everybody is wanted to make the robots which is uh, you know which can do the number of works and uh, which can easy to handle and uh, can be used in any area of the industry or maybe at home correct so a robot is a reprogrammable multifunctional manipulator designed to move material parts tool or specialized devices correct why do we need the robotics the first condition is why do we need the robot robots so there are some works which a human can do cannot do with that much accuracy a robot can do or there are some areas in which the risk of life is there so we use the robot like in a space exploration there is a very much a person cannot go to the mars but a robot can go to the mars correct so what he says that a robot is a one armed blind idiot with limited memory and which cannot speak see or hear every robot is programmable they cannot do any function with their own will or wish we cannot include we cannot inseminate the intelligence into it unless we do not program it correct so the robot is called as a blind idiot which cannot see hear or speak correct so what are the tasks that a robot can do we'll discuss in detail what type of robots are there but what different task a robot can do the first one is the dangerous task those tasks which are a life threatening for human being correct like the dangerous task as i referred as the first one is space exploration as i told you on a mars no one has reached no human has reached there but a robot has already reached there in on even jupiter they have passed by it correct and second like uh, disarming the bombs correct disarming the bombs so these kind of dangerous task is done by the computer there is a military robot which is used for the diffusing the bomb as well as which is used for the inspection of any area where the danger is there where the mines are there so these kind of things can be done by the robots even under the water welding correct for a human being it is very difficult and dangerous but a robot can easily do it correct and yes the disaster clean up the disaster clean up that after the disaster then this robots can be used for the cleaning purposes correct what next task could be the next task could be sorry <coughs> boring or repetitive work yes what are those boring and repetitive works like welding car frames those works in which no nothing newness is there because a human being is there if there is a newness the person or the human show the interest into the thing but if you are continuously doing one thing repetitively 1000 time 500 times in a day so you get bored but a robot cannot so those works which feels human as a bored one or boring works these are to be used they are to be done by the robot so you can see there's a robot is only have a one arm correct and everywhere in the industry if you see in the industry majority i would say 80 to 90% robots are used as a robotic arm correct because this robotic arm is able to do what kind of function like welding car frames part pick and place picking up the part from one place and placing it to other like this one 
correct it is picking up and placing now it is very difficult that a fragile thing it's a plastic bottle or maybe the uh, glass bottle but it is a very fragile work is be done by the robots correct and the next one is high precision or high speed works yes this is very difficult task for the robot they are doing it a person can have a human being can have a chances of mistake but a robot cannot have even they can do the same work with maximum precision or, or the precision you set correct like in this image you can see a, a doctor who's sitting in somewhere else in the on the earth on the globe correct but he can do the surgery he can do the operation the person is in another country clear so doctor is in american person is in india maybe some somewhere else but he can do this surgery while sitting on the computer that is just because of the robots that is just because because of the robotic things correct and this is very precision work because uh, some part has been distorted the operation goes wrong clear yeah, so everything is done by the robots even the electronics testing is done by the robot because any precision work is done by the robot and high speed even at high speed a person can do a work either at precision or at speed but a robot can have both the qualities it can do the work at high precision as well as a high speed correct so this is the next topic the types of robots we are going to discuss these type of robots in the uh, next lecture but yeah we are having four different type of robot the pick and place continuous path control and sensory and the fourth one is a scanner robot is an example of robot correct so we'll discuss that in the next class so this is all for today if you wanted to check my other videos must go to the channel tiny steps subscribe and like the videos and share it if you want it if you like the content and thank you